Hello and welcome to AppC Connect demonstration. Through this demo, we would like to showcase the integration between Magento 2 and SAP Business One. So as you can see in this screen, this is a Magento 2 storefront. This is the admin panel and this is the user panel. So we will start with the registration part and we'll proceed with one by one processes. So first of all, we'd like to start with creating a new customer. So any new customer go here and we'll create an account. So just quickly putting some test data. So here we are entering the email. So in Magento 2 also the email ID will be the prime identifier for an end customer through which the customer can log in and can see, can access their website, uh, their account in the website. So quickly creating the account for this customer. So once this is done, we can proceed towards the next step by adding their billing shipping addresses. So customer can add their addresses in Magento 2 at many position during their access or during their uh, purchase cycle. So they can add address at the beginning or they can add address at the time of checkout. They can even register themselves at the time of checkout. They can uh, uh, check out as guest as well. So AppC Connect supports all these scenarios and sync data from Magento 2 to SAP Business One in almost real time. So let's add some addresses here in this demo. So moving to manage addresses section quickly adding some address here. Let's say this is an address city entering the company a phone number state let's say selecting the state of Florida entering the billing and shipping address here this postal code is required and country is US saving the address. So AppC Connect syncs all the data from Magento 2 to SAP Business One a fully in a fully automatic and bi-directional way. But for this demonstration we'll use a software called AppC Connect Agent. So this AppC Connect Agent is actually used to sync the data back and forth between Magento and SAP Business One. So here you can see in this AppC Connect Agent this is an on-premise software. AppC Connect is a hybrid solution which has a small component installed in the SAP server which directly sync the data between Magento 2 and SAP Business One and all the configuration and settings and all other parts remains in AppSec Connect Cloud. So in this way, data is secure within client's own systems and data is also getting synced between client's own systems only. It is not replicated or uh, stored in AppSec Connect Cloud in any way. So AppSec Connect doesn't store any kind of your transactional data. So here we are trying to sync from Magento 2 to SAP Business One and we will sync business partner or the customer. So clicking on so as you can see this agent has two options it can either be manual or it can work in a fully automatic manner as well for this demo let's use this quick manual sync so AppC Connect comes up with a full log as well so you, you can see whether the data is synced successfully or not we are calling it the log here so you can see the data is successfully pushed from Magento 2 storefront to SAP Business One has been stored as W17. So now if we quickly move to SAP Business One business partner master data so we can see this customer here. So let's search through the customer name and I can see W17 which has been shown in AppSec Connect agent in the log has been synced from Magento to SAP Business One uh, with all the details and if I move to billing shipping addresses I can see the billing shipping addresses are mentioned here and if customer maintains multiple billing shipping addresses then also that will be uh, that will get synced from Magento to storefront to SAP Business One. So in this way the reverse process as AppSec Connect works in a fully bi-directional manner so the reverse process will also work quite fine. That means you can sync your existing SAP Business One business partners to the Magento 2.0 uh, storefront very easily. So you can upload your uh, existing business partner from your ERP system and uh, those business partners will get, get their access in Magento portal and they can start accessing the portal moving forward. 
So now let's uh, move to the next segment which is uh, adding a product and then we will proceed towards the order section. So we are quickly moving to products, product catalog in Magento 2.0. So here we can see there is an option called add product. So we can quickly add this product here. So we are adding a new product in this section. So let's quickly put a product name. Let's say this is a phone Samsung Galaxy S7 S G S7. Let's put a price of 500 US dollars. This is a taxable good. We can add one or multiple images. Let's put some basic quantity here. It's in stock. Weight. We can put some weight for this item as well or we can put no. Selecting no here. Category. We can add this item to one or multiple categories. So let's add this item to default and uh, we can put some more details as well. This is not a downloadable product and we do not want to add any configurations for this section. So we can simply save this product. Now after saving this we will check in front end of uh, Magento 2 storefront whether the product has been created successfully in front end as well or else we have missed something because this is a as we know this is a new platform and it's a learning phase for all of us. Okay, so the product has been now added to Magento. This is a simple product that we have added with some basic details of pricing of 500 US dollar and we have given a stock as well to keep the product in stock. Now let's proceed towards syncing this product to SAP Business One quickly. So now we will move to AppSy Connect Agent and in AppSy Connect Agent we can see there is an option of adding the item though the item can be added in a fully automatic manner. And so in the similar way if the item gets some update in Magento that will also be synced to SAP Business One in a fully automatic manner. But for this demonstration let's quickly add this item to SAP Business One. So the process is complete. Now if we go to check the status so we can see that it's a success. SGS 7 which is added in Magento 2.0 storefront has been pushed to SAP Business One and the item code is SGS7 there. So now if we go to SAP Business One in item master data now we need to move. So let's quickly move to inventory item master data and search through Samsung. So this is the item Samsung Galaxy S7. The item name has been stored as description. If the item has some long description that will be synced to this remarks tab as well. Pricing we have the added in Magento 2.0 is uh, 500 US dollars showing here. So all the details which you have added in uh, Magento e-commerce storefront in Magento 2.0 version is showing in SAP Business One Item Master. So now let's see some stock update and as we know stock update generally uh, only uh, works in a one direction that means from SAP Business One to Magento because uh, stock has a defined structure and a defined cycle of increasing in ERP system through either purchase or production process. So all other touch points that are present in AppSy Connect mostly uh, all these touch points works in a bi-directional manner. That means even you can sync your ERP items as uh, products of web store in Magento 2.0 storefront through AppSy Connect but stock mostly works in a unidirection that means from ERP to Magento in this direction. So let's quickly go to inventory transactions goods received and quickly add some stock against this item. So we have added this item SGS7. Let's add some quantity of 20 with a unit price of 400 US dollars. So this is the stock I am adding in my ERP system. Now if we go to AppSy Connect Agent, as I mentioned Agent is a small software which is working within the ERP server. So you can see SAP Business One to Magento direction. We just need to go and there is a, there is a process called inventory update. Stock update will happen in a fully real time and automatic manner whenever the stock gets updated in the ERP system. Immediately the stock gets reflected in the web store. So in this way 
in Magento 2.0 storefront, the users or uh, the customers who are visiting the storefront, they will never face out of stock scenario. Or at least with the presence of Apsi Connect, the uh, you know uh, the seeing of out of stock scenarios will be less. So now quickly sync the stock from the API system to Magento 2 2.0 storefront. Process is complete. We can go in the our log and we can see SGS 7 is pushed successfully its stock has been pushed successfully to Magento so now if we go to Magento e-commerce storefront we can go to the product catalog so the item let's see the product catalog now SGS 7 has been added at the lowest section we can see the stock has been increased to 20 so previously it has a stock of 10 we have added of 10 more stocks from SAP business one 10 more quantity and now the updated quantity is 20 which is showing in Magento e-commerce storefront now let's quickly proceed and place order against this item I have already logged it uh, I have already logged in as a new customer Thomas Andrews now let's quickly go and search this item this item has been added in apparel section as we know so Samsung Galaxy S7 this is the item it has stock so that's why it is showing in Magento 2.0 storefront in the user panel front panel now let's quickly add this product to shopping cart so now let's quickly go to the shopping cart section we can see and let's quickly go to checkout so the checkout process has been started the shipping method the shipping uh, price which will be calculated in the storefront if any new addresses added during checkout in Magento 2.0 if the customer uh, uh, can select multiple payment methods during checkout so all these processes are already uh, integrated within AppSy Connect so AppSy Connect can take care of multiple payment methods so using any payment method the customer can proceed towards checkout and uh, the transaction ID will be synced back to SAP Business One the shipping address uh, the, the shipping details and the shipping price calculated will be synced back to SAP Business One in the sales order so all these processes the taxes will be properly mapped taxes as we know are a very important section so taxes of SAP Business One and Magento 2 will be properly mapped through AppSy Connect so exact tax amount will be shown in the other platform so in this demonstration let's quickly go to the next process as we can see uh, shipping method has been selected as a flat rate and let's quickly place order so billing and shipping address will be same uh, we are selecting this option and let's quickly place the order for this item so order number as we can see is number six with some zeros preceding it now let's quickly go to AppSy Connect agent and we'll be seeing and this process will work from Magento to SAP Business One direction so let's expand that option orders can be synced in a fully automatic manner as I mentioned and AppSy Connect can cater a large volume of orders even more than 5000 or 10,000 orders per minute in an online store and as we know Magento 2 has a has great performance from Magento 1.9 it can process at least twice more order uh, than Magento 1.9 storefront so AppSy Connect fully fully compatible with that huge number of order volume so let's quickly sync this sales order which we have newly created in Magento 2 storefront let's see what is the process we can see order number 6 is supposed to push to SAP Business One as order ID 7 so let's go to SAP Business One orders as we know will be there in the sales AR module in sales order section we can check the last record this this is the order sent from Magento to SAP Business One placed by the customer Thomas Andrews on item I, item number is GS7 which is as we know it's a mobile and with all the details tax we for this demonstration we have used the tax code exempt but SAP business one tax codes can be fully mapped with Magento tax rate identifiers the freight the shipping value has been shown in the freight section and the shipping method will be shown in the other section in logistics tab we can see the billing and shipping addresses 
So this is the order which is synced from Magento to SAP Business One. Delivery and invoice uh, can be synced from, can be created from uh, SAP Business One and can be synced back to Magento or it can be created in Magento and can be synced back to B1. So most of the processes work as I mentioned work in a fully bi-directional manner. So let's quickly go in Magento and let's see how we can quickly invoice the sales order. So for that we need to go to sales, we need to go to orders. So all the orders which has been placed will be shown in a grid format in Magento 2.0 storefront. This is the order, Thomas Andrews will click on the view button which will show me all the order details. Also I will get the option to create shipment and invoice from this. So let's quickly do the invoicing part and let's see how AppSecConnect can sync this invoice to SAP Business One. So for automated online payments, the invoice will be created in Magento and will be synced back to SAP Business One as AR invoice or AR down payment invoice along with incoming payment. For manual payments, uh, that means for check or money order kind of payment option, the order will be synced back to Magento, uh, for, to SAP Business One and from, from there you can create the invoice and the invoice can sync back to Magento. So it, it can work, the connector can be configured according to the business process which the customer is, is having. So this is the invoice, new invoice which has been created. Let's submit this invoice here. So once the invoice is generated in Magento, like as invoices are generated through automated uh, online payment gateways, we can at the AppC Connect can sync the invoice from Magento to SAP Business One in a fully automatic manner, which we are showing in this uh, demonstration through the manual trigger. So all these sync triggers which you are seeing can be transformed from manual to auto as well as all the sync triggers having the sync interval. So you can set the interval in which time this will work. If you want that this process will happen real time, it can be configured. If you want this process will happen after each and every 10 minutes, that can be configured. So against each process wise, the connector can be configured based on the business volume and business requirement. So now if you go to the resync, we can see whether, whether it is successful or failed or whatever the process is. So we can see the invoice has been synced uh, uh, from the invoice number 4 has been synced as invoice number 3 in the uh, SAP Business One. So now if you go to SAP Business One, AR invoice section, go to the last invoice, we can see this is the invoice. The web invoice number is showing as the customer reference number. The invoice has been synced from Magento 2.0 storefront to SAP Business One. So this is a very small demonstration of our AppC Connect, uh, which is syncing data back and forth between Magento 2.0 storefront and SAP Business One ERP system. So we will obviously will come up with more detailed demonstrations in upcoming days. Thanks for watching the demo.